All right, got a couple of pork butts on the smoker, running my smoke tube. Here's one seasoned up with pappies. This one's just Larry's seasoning salt, keeping it simple, using my True Wave grate. Got a water pan right here in the back. She's on the Gorilla OG. Temperature I have set for 240. So I'm running her at 240, mode one. And we are using premium cookingpellets.com. Perfect mix, which is a mixture of hickory, cherry, hard maple, and apple. 100% hardwood, no fillers, no outer, no, no bullshit woods. Very, very top line pellets right here. And this should go good with some pork. All right, so take all your trimmings, I can't stress this enough, from the fat cap, throw it in some water, boil it, and the water will eventually evaporate and leave all the renderings of the fat. And then you could baste this and add it back to your meats. It, it works fantastic. You got a little bit of salt if you want to, and pretty much just go from there and make your own sauce or however you want to do it, or just the fat. But add its flavor, add it back, and it will definitely make you happier. All right, and this is what the sauce looks like. After we have all the trimmings rendered down, add a little bit of white vinegar, a splash of ketchup, a little bit of brown sugar, uh, some Frank's Red Hot chili sauce, and some red pepper flakes, salt and pepper and garlic, and this will pretty much make my mop. So I'll just keep basting these pork butts with this to add even more flavor and moisture. All right, it's been an hour and a half. Take a look at them. Looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and take some of this mop I made right here. Mop them down. just got done mopping it and what I'm doing as a little test is throwing a layer of butcher paper over the top you know it's still sitting on the true wave so all the smoke and airflow is allowed to come through the through the little channels on here basically and it's allowed to come through the sides right here so it's just kind of holding a little extra moisture on top so we're gonna see how this turns out three hours and 45 minutes in pit still running at 240 degrees let's see how this is looking look at that Still keeping some nice moisture on top. Haven't had to do anything for a good while. So I'm gonna go ahead and baste it again. Do some more of the sauce I have. And let's go ahead. Make sure you get the sides. So we'll get the butcher paper little cover back on top, keep it protected and see what we get. We're sitting close to almost six hours. I bumped the temperature up to 250 degrees. Uh, I started hitting it with a rub of the hog waller from Suckle Busters. One of them sitting at 161, the other one's at 168, just starting to press through the stall. Threw a couple of potatoes on here, but let's take a look. Yep, got a nice little color right here. Fat's starting to get nice and yellow, so it's rendering out pretty good. That's all the stuff I'm looking at is this nice yellow fat right here. It's exactly what you want. So, nice mahogany color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the last of this rendered down fat on it and uh, keep it covered up and keep pushing through. It's probing about 185 to 190 average. I'm gonna wrap it up, put it in foil and some saran wrap to hold some moisture and let it rest in the oven at 150 degrees for two hours.